Hello and welcome back to Maple Farms. It is now early March and we are ready, or about to get ready, to uh, sow our grass seeds. It's going to be a busy, or a long, I don't know about how busy it's going to be, it's going to be a long couple of days, I think, of doing this grass work. Or well, not grass work, but sowing our grass seeds. Um, I think I'm going to put a worker in the deer again, have them set up. And they can try and get through the smaller animal pastures that need seeding. Uh, we'll put them with the Amazon on the back. The Amazon. And uh, we'll jump in the Deutz. We'll put the uh, large John Deere on the back of the Deutz. I know we like to brand match, but I think the, uh, the Deutz is a bit bigger. So we'll put the uh, bigger seeder on it of the deer do this so just get that connected make sure we are on grass now I think the seeds around the back I'm sure we've still got some positive of it let's just open this up when we get around there yeah, here on the right I believe it is the one in front Oh, that's me horn. <laughs> Horny. There we go. 600. Now, as to how much I'm going to use, I haven't a clue. Um, it's been a while since I've done any uh, grass uh, seed planting anyway. So I'll just get this, this one set up with a worker, and uh, then we'll go jump at the Deutz. Our worker is off doing their thing. Hopefully they'll have uh, no trouble just looping around and getting that done. Now, I've been told that this uh, cedar doesn't make a noise because it's not supposed to. So I'm going with that. I know no different. Uh, but apparently because it just rolls in and they drop down, there's no no automation. There's not like a air hose on or anything like the air cedar. So that's why it doesn't make any sound. Just the sound of being dragged behind. So nothing to worry about. I was really uh, confused when we first used it because I'm so used to uh, a cedar making noise. <laughs> it just it just feels weird to me. But apparently there's uh, nothing to concern myself with. It's all perfectly normal. This is uh, hopefully to get this field done in good time with the with the worker in the other they're, they're, they're obviously they're in the cow pasture they get through that if we can get them in there in the sheep's pasture have that one seeded as well today I think I should be able to get this done myself and possibly a large chunk of the other one I'm not going to go crazy and work late if we uh, don't get it done in time because we are doing the uh, three days times ten for each month so uh, things might not get done but we will have the extra day I will have to go back and lap that I missed that corner it's a bit here where we missed with a stone pick but that's all right I have set the uh, the worker to uh, register as having a slightly smaller tool and working with uh, in hopes that they won't miss because it is a bit annoying when the grass is a bit patchy so hopefully they'll be fine with that Looks like I'm the one that's going to have the issue with a uh, Apache finish. It's uh, a bit barren today. I, we did have snow um, the last day of February. I did wonder if that was going to carry over today, but I think it's supposed to be uh, supposed to be fine. Not even a frost this morning. ready to uh, have another productive year such a productive year last year and now we're going to have this uh, big harvest over there with our canola going to make us so much money I'm hoping anyway it's going to make us so much money and uh, yeah, along with those bees a lot more chickens our cows will grow again we should be due some more cows I think next month I think it could be as early as that uh, we're already up to 85 now, so we're pushing, nearly pushing 100, which is really good for us. 
I think the uh, the pasture that they're in will hold 750, so got a long way to go before that's full. But we should be able to get that money together. We've got 330. Get that money together to uh, make a new venture. Like I said, we want doing the greenhouses or getting into some sort of production. Be nice. Really make some moves here in Maypole. Rather than just uh, hoarding up our cash just to just to flex it. But we never have money. <laughs> even um, even on the other Let's Play. As soon as we uh, make some money or we'll find a collectible, it's all a new purchase. Although again, I would like I am thinking, not that I would like to, I'm thinking about replacing the Massey. The more yeah, I have a little think about it, I think, oh yeah, it's not getting a lot of work. I'm not doing much with it. If we have something a little bit bigger, it'll be more useful to me. But also there's nothing wrong in just having a front loader tractor for moving them bales about, for doing a little bit of feed with to I don't know, do the odd spray or fertiliser or something like that. The Massey is perfectly fine for those jobs, so it, it might stay. I am always, as always, I'm always torn about <laughs> getting rid of equipment unless it's not very good. Or I know there's something that's going to be so much better, although I'd prefer. And, but I like that little Massey. It's, uh, it's probably one of the few original parts of machinery we still have on the farm after the roller. We've still got some rollers. After this um, plant and session, though, and all the meadows are done, we will be selling the old cedar and probably the front roller, because again, a bit like on uh, Ube, we don't use it. Uh, they're really good, and they are sort of a realistic thing to have on the front. The front roller, done a little cultivate and a roll back in, and then seed them behind. But because of the way I am and I'm not very good at timing my lifts and stuff like that. I just end up cultivating and doing over where I've seeded and we just get patchy bits and it just, just doesn't look good. Now the turn on this isn't great either, talking about not looking good. So I might have to actually go around one more time. That's what I'm going to do. And then we'll... Uh, work our way up and down the field. I know I should do the uh, the inner first. Sometimes I do it. Sometimes I did have a little period of doing it really good for a while. And now I sort of s slipped back into my old way. But it's also trying to be efficient. Well, I think we have more than enough headland now to not worry about turning circles. So I'm going to crack on with this meadow. And uh, I'll come back to you either as I've uh, finished seeding it or when our worker needs uh, a little shift change and put on the other field. finished over in the other meadow but I just had a few passes left in this tiny little strip uh, so I figure I'll just get this done and then we'll uh, go and sort them out that is that is our, our large meadow sown so it's only a uh, something like 0 0.12 hectares larger than this one but I'm sure it makes all the difference and I've already started losing my voice, so I haven't even been speaking much today. Right, let's go and uh, sort this other worker out. I will say, it's looking nice and bright and clear this afternoon. So it's now, uh, well, it's 20 to 2. The day is getting on. Uh, what did we do seed-wise? Just over 50%, so we're going to have enough to uh, 
plant the small meadow, I think. There's going to be plenty of seed in there. Try and uh, empty it as best we can so we haven't got loads to put back into the silo later for when we uh, sell this cedar. This is the one that's going to be going. I'll just find a decent spot to uh, set our worker up from, get them on their way. We will be straight back in the, uh, the Deutz and uh, cracking on with the other meadow. So they're happily off doing their thing. We'll let them be. We'll, uh, we'll jump the fence and uh, get the Deutz var. My lovely old Deutz. Looks great. It's all dirty already. They are really, <laughs> I really like it. I'm pleased, I'm pleased, uh, pleased I made that decision. Seem to have a, a few regrettable uh, choices with regards to uh, tractors, I think, so far. So it's nice that we've got a good one. And we've had our, our Renault that's been a little bit questionable over on uh, Ube. Because we have our, our Seb. Which is so noisy, it's a nice track to it, it's so noisy. And then the um, the mod um, John Deere on here. So we can cultivate. This does do the cultivating. Okay, that's fine. Cultivates both ways by the looks of it. Um, yeah, that if you were there at the beginning of this series or if you've been someone that joined later on and went back to it, we had a uh, a different mod of the uh, the John Deere that we have here at the minute, and uh, oh, it just gave me issues. Like with the, we started off using gears, and then that's what I had to go out the window because the uh, gears weren't changing. So we went automatic, and then even as automatic, it just struggled to change gear for me. So uh, I think that was when we decided we were going to scrap manual gears. It's a shame. It's another one of them things where it's a really good thing to have manual gears. But it's not very well implemented for gear shifters. I don't think, anyway. I can't find a way to make that work in a sensible fashion with a gear shifter. And uh, from what I gather, a lot of the big channels as well, even the ones that try to go as realistic as possible, a lot of those guys have, uh, have dropped the gears, dropped the manual gears and gone automatic. Just because it doesn't feel right, doesn't work as they feel it should, or how it would for... You know, gamers, I guess. I know uh, tractor gears do work so different. Um, but you have to have it so it's sort of playable with the equipment that we have. I'll try and get in that corner, make sure we've not got patches, because we had a patch last time in this meadow. It annoyed me every time I drove past it, so I'm going to make sure I get this one. A hundred percent. Drive over it twice if I have to. Now again, we only use thirty percent of our seed, so uh, we're not gonna have to refill. I think that's something that the, that's been adjusted. Grass seed used to just deplete so quick when they're uh, sowing. It's a little bit less brutal now. I can understand it. You do use a lot. <laughs> I know it's completely different, but we just recently regrassed, <laughs> reseeded, and grassed our garden, and uh, we had used twice as much seed as what we thought we would. But the bloody stuff didn't grow anyway, so that was a nightmare. Wouldn't make much of a real farmer. Can't get grass to go and grow in my backyard. But hey ho. So I think I'll uh, I'll crack on. I'll do my uh, do my headland, give myself some space, and uh, probably jump back to you a little bit later on in this one. Um, I'll probably time lapse the last one. So this one I shall uh, do a jump in. Probably join us halfway as we're getting through it, or as my workers uh, hitting a tree or whatever. So I'll uh, I'll see you in just a second.
well on getting through it. It's now 20 past five, as you can see we've got about a quarter, a third, somewhere in between that <laughs> left to do. The worker is uh, cracking on there. They're over halfway through their um, meadow. So we might actually have uh, all our grass sown before dark, which would be handy. But that also means that tomorrow we've got a big day rolling. I want to, hopefully this isn't going to grow through overnight. If this grows through overnight, I am going to be so, so pissed off because I never get to grow my grass. So, uh, yeah, hopefully this will stay in this uh, state, um, for at least for, for a couple of uh, sleeps so we can roll it and then um, we can look to uh, fertilize get some slurry down spread our manure with our with our wealth we may look to purchase a slurry spreader and a manure spreader we could lease one of each we could buy one and lease one and then maybe uh, buy the other one next year just so not so as not to uh, hit the finances too hard when we're looking to expand and do other things as well so there's uh, decisions to be made again as always still looking at land I'm so torn on on like field 7 I think it was and then when we went out and uh, did our deliveries last time out and we, there were those nice big fields down in the uh, southeast they look good they look nice and flat good for placing some greenhouses on it's all very tempting and it's a little bit further away, so there's stuff we'd have to go and do. Field 7 would be quite a trek through other people's <laughs> other people's land. But again, it would get us out there. Now those patches aren't where I've missed. Um, where we've had the odd stutter in the game, um, it drops the texture that we're dragging across from forever and uh, gives us my, my proper sewn texture. But if you put your sewer down, on this texture, oh, gonna roll into a tree. Um, sorry about that. If yeah, if you put your sewer down on the texture, it pulls that. Although we've got nothing that we're cultivating in, we've got no stalks or anything like that. Um, because I clipped, or because I've I did cultivate in a bit of grass at the top. Um, yeah, we've pulled that texture with us the whole time. I wish that was something that I don't know. I was, I say fixed. It's not necessarily broken. It's just not well managed. I'd, I'd rather if if I went over a patch of grass that just that patch of grass gave this texture, and everything around it still normal sown. Because I don't like this texture. <laughs> uh, I can't do much about it other than make sure I don't leave no grass anywhere to pull the texture through from. Oh, they they are nearly done. They're a bit further along than I thought they were. They're going to finish before me. They've got their light on. They're being sensible. We're going to uh, going to keep cracking on. Perhaps we should put our light on. Oh, that's our beacon. There we go. Just a little, a little headlamp. So, yeah, I can't imagine this episode is overly exciting. I do apologise for that. But this is farming and this is a day of fur uh, seeding. It's, it's, it is what it is. Uh, this is what we had to do. This is what we've done. Um, I say tomorrow could be a, l a bit, a lot more variation in what we do. And we can also, uh, as I did say, we'd wait until I've got my seeds in the ground before we sold the rest of our silage. Uh, we've got jobs to do between now and the harvest, so there's going to be more silage coming. Just not sure how to go about that because that is that is long. Um, a bigger, a bigger trailer wouldn't really be the answer, I don't think. We we have to smack into that to fill it anyway, unless we got ourselves some conveyor belts, which I'm not a big fan of doing. Um, I think I've said before when it comes to silage and stuff like that, I've just always preferred to do it manually. Conveyor seems like an easy cop out for people that are just make, trying to make max, which is fine. Everyone play their way. If you're doing it as in it's just trying to make maximum money as quickly as possible, you know, you, you fill massive bunkers up and you 
put the conveyors down and you ferry it over as quick as you can. That's not what I'm about. I am happy to just keep loading up. Now our worker hasn't dragged this texture across, despite the fact that they're seeding over grass, because that seeder doesn't um, cultivate at the same time. Hence why we took it into this field, did the big ones with it. That's all grass. I'm still uh, a little baffled and bemused as to uh, the new lime thing. I really thought we were going to be needing lime. It, it just always looked like it should have been. And yeah, I can't remember when we last did lime. I think because grass, I don't know, because the grass grows, you don't, I don't know, it's still the same plant in there. Perhaps because it's not like other crops. Where we're taking it out of the ground and doing a lot of other things to the soil. Perhaps it just doesn't require the lime. Because we've limed our other f our, uh, our crop field, our arable field that's behind me. Uh, we've limed that plenty. I think because the, the colour grading is a little bit different from what it was in 19. Uh, it was more of a green for the 5.5. The Whereas I think 5 and 5.5 .5 is quite yellow. Um, this time around so uh, that's what made me think we needed to uh, to lime it when I was looking at the looking at the overview map rather than actually look at the numbers I was just looking at the colour and if the colours have changed a little bit then uh, that might be what threw me but our worker they finished I've only got one maybe two parts I'll do two just to make sure it's tidy but Yes, it's been a good day. It's been a busy day, but it has just been <laughs> the seeding. Um, so this could end up being quite a short one. Um, if it is just a singular job, then I want to try and make them short. I'm just going to have this little bit on the end where I ramble through it, and the bit at the start where I tell you about the day. <laughs> and then uh, in the middle where I change it over, probably. That's how I'm thinking in my head. But I don't want to do stuff like, oh come back in April and we've got meadows of grass that were stones and dirt last time you were here. You need to see that we're doing it. I want to show you my farm and what I do. <laughs> I want you to like me. But yeah. No, by all means, like the video. Give it a thumbs up. It helps. Helps the channel. And of course... Hit that big red button, turn it grey. We love subscribers. So that is it. That is our meadows sown. All of our grass. It's pretty cool. Still haven't put in my new textures here. I want to put like everything that I'm driving over into my left. I want that to be like dirt check texture like we've driven through it. Now this cedar. It's actually quite big to be negotiating farm with, surprisingly. Let's get a backlight on. Oh, that's a hell of a backlight. Get this parked up and then uh, I'll bring the, uh, the John Deere round. And uh, we will be selling the cedar, but not right now. I'm not going to shoot out in the dark to do that. We'll uh, just pull this over. Now I think you know, we've got the weight on the front. Um, yeah, I'll probably just run it up tomorrow, sell the cedar, and sell the, uh, the front roller that I'm not using very often. I will park it up. Oh, fat hand. So that'll do just there. And that is it for today. Gosh, it's dark around here. Might have to get uh, some more lights in. I, th I felt sure. Put some lights in. Oh, they're just not very bright. <laughs> Might put another light in around here. Um, yeah, so that is it for today. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully it goes smooth. Um, nice quick one. 
getting our meadows ready for our cows. They love it. So if you have, give it a big fat thumbs up down below. If you're new to the channel, hit subscribe, turn your bell notification on, find out when new videos are going live. As always, comments and feedback down there. Let me know what you're thinking. Uh, what do you think about slowy spreaders, manure spreaders, that sort of thing. And uh, we'll see what we can do in the coming episodes. You guys have yourselves a wonderful day. And I shall see you very soon. Bye-bye.